Well, it's pretty rare that I can find a topic to make a video on that's not already overdone. And this is something that I see a lot of people posting about that I don't think is right. They say that these mandrel assemblies that have the grease cert, which you can see there's a grease cert right there. What I'm seeing out there is that if they have the grease cert, but they have a sealed bearing where the bearing is sealed on both sides, like these bearings, that grease will not penetrate into the bearing. A bunch of baloney. I'm going to disassemble this mandrel assembly and we will look and see and it's going to have inner and outer grease fitting or grease seals on the bearings and then I will put it back together and grease it and we will see what color grease goes into the bearings. has a green bluish grease now this is the typical mistake a lot of people make somebody greased that one just enough to get the inside of that housing wet with grease but the only way to get the grease to penetrate into the bearings is you have to grease it until the assembly is full it takes about 70 pumps from a hand grease gun so that that little bit of grease that somebody put in there probably 10 or 15 pumps did nothing for it What you'll find a lot of times on the on the bottom bearing facing the ground it has a metal shield on it instead of the back side has a rubber shield that's what the number or the letters on the back of the bearing number stand for um, usually if they say like a 6204 rs the rs is a rubber seal And you can see here a little bit of grease is on the outer cover of the bearing, the, the seal. But we're going to look inside and see if it got into the bearing. I'll just take a little scribe or a pocket screwdriver and be very gentle not to damage the seal. And you can pluck these things right out of there 
Another thing I see a lot of people say, well, you can't do anything with the bearings because they're sealed bearings. Well, there's not much to the rubber seal. I mean, it pops right off. You can do it without damaging the seal. So the grease inside this bearing looks to be either the same kind of grease that was in that assembly, the bluish green stuff, or uh, maybe black. Uh, it looks green. So we'll grease, we'll put these back in and we'll grease the assembly. Let me pop this other one apart. So this was the one with the metal shield on one side. I just popped out the back side, the rubber side. So that one would go on the bottom. This one would go on the top. It's got rubber shields on both sides. You can see no grease ever touched this bearing because they only put enough in that assembly when they serviced it to the gravity to carry it down to the bottom bearing. I still don't think that grease that they put in it made it into that bearing because there's no way that, to pressurize the housing unless you fill it with grease to pump grease past the seal. And this one has the same, same grease, the green looking grease. So, and you can see there's not a whole lot of grease in it. I mean, that's what they're gonna give you with a brand new tractor. So if you get a couple hundred hours out of it, you did real good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off so that we can go with the color grease I'm gonna to use to see if that color gets into the bearings. It takes about 70 pumps. And these are handy. Got that as a gift of last Christmas and I've saved a lot of grease use in this thing. Little, little quick grip. So the grease that I'm using is uh, red and I went a little more than I usually do so it came out quite a bit on the bottom of that shaft but I was hoping I could see it come out the top too but it usually it usually only comes out the top or the bottom when it fills that void um, so we'll see what happened if it filled both bearings or not And it did start coming 
out the top as well. You can see it out the through, made it through that, either around the outside of that bearing, which I doubt, or it looks like more that came through the, through the bearing. That's the bottom side. You can see a lot of grease. Obviously we saw it before we even took that shaft out of there. And you can see how full that assembly is now. I mean, it's just plumb full of grease. That's the way you're supposed to grease them until, until it's full. And voila, red grease inside the bearing. It made it through the seal. This was the bottom bearing with the metal shield on the bottom side and the rubber shield on the top side. It also has red grease in it now. So greasing them from the grease cirque with rubber shields and rubber seals on the inside of the bearings will not prevent grease from going into the bearing. Thanks for watching and thanks Donnie Boy for inspiring me to make a video after a year of uh, hibernation.